Welcome to the Cyber Optics booth here at SMT Connect. I'm delighted to be joined by Sean Langbridge. Nice to see you again, Sean. Trevor, good morning. Great to see you. Yeah. So you're the European Sales Director, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Trevor, this week, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep it that way. Here. So uh, one of the beauties about Cyber Optics, Sean, is, of course, that you guys develop your own sensors, uh, and that gives you a, a lot of... Um, latitude in building your machines. So this is the SE3000 beside, beside us. Uh, SE3000 platform has been around for a long time, but you keep upgrading it. So what are the latest additions to this one here? Sure, Trevor. Latest addition here is we're utilizing the sensor technology from our SQ3000, the 3D AOI solutions. So we have MRS technology now in our SE platform. Okay. So this is our high-end 3D SPI system, SE3000. We have quad optics that we utilize in two times dual illumination for the actual pace measurements. So we have dual high resolution at nine microns, mm -hmm. and dual high speed at 18 microns. That's the lateral resolution. Right. And the height resolution is 0 0.5 micron in both cases. cases. That gives you quite a bit of flexibility then, doesn't it? So, so you, you, you can use the, the really fine ones when, you, when you've got boards that are, say, you know, 0201 metrics and stuff like that yeah, on exactly it. Exactly, Trevor. Uh, uh, or you can use the the higher, uh, should I say, the larger measurement when you're when you're doing boards that are not quite so so complicated. Yeah, that's exactly correct, Trevor. So let's say high volume automotive, where they have just discrete components, not so advanced. Let's say 0402 metric and above, we can run in high speed and get quite good cycle time right. but then for the more advanced products which this uh, machine was initially designed for mm -hmm. when we go down to 9 microns we can do 02, 0201 metric and beyond right. and get right. very good re uh, accuracy, accuracy and visibility. Excellent. So I noticed uh, you know, what are some of the other features of this machine it looks like it can do a, a relatively big board size. Right. Um, so we're at 508 by 508 in the standard platform. Right. Uh, we do have a large platform as well, so we can go much larger if a customer needs to do that. Right. So we can do, uh, I think it's 680 by 780, I believe. Yeah, that's huge. Large yeah. Platform, you yes. certainly yeah, deal with these big 5G yeah. boards for sure. Yeah. Um, and you're using linear motors? Linear motors, linear encoders yeah. to one micron accuracy. So right. it's a very precise system. Right. And it's a measurement machine at the end of the day, it's yeah. not an inspection machine. Okay. So we, we need a very precise platform to, okay. to get the accuracy and repeatability. Right. So I, I believe you've also gone up one step with a, a new system called the PLUS. That's right. Uh, you don't have it here, but, but tell us a bit about it. Yeah, that's the SQ3000 PLUS. So this is a, a real high-end advanced 3D AOI platform. A completely different platform to the standard SQ3000. We're using a different optical configuration, mm -hmm. dual sensors and dual projectors, and we're down at five microns 3D. Right. Uh, that's for real advanced back-end semiconductor, mm -hmm. front-end SMT applications, micro LED, mini LED. So how does that compare then with the, is that the, the, the W? Well, the WX3000 right. is a wafer inspection machine where gotcha. the SQ is substrate. I see. I mean, we could handle wafers in, in some cases, but it's mainly a substrate inspection machine. Right, I see. I so see. lead frames and yeah. FR4 substrate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I guess, you know, the wafer the, the wafer one's got the, it's built in to handle all the, the, the shiny reflections, etc. Yeah, exactly. but the other one's different. Yeah. Yeah. And it's built in to handle from FOOP, so you can actually load a FOOP or a cassette in the machine. Mm -hmm. It'll take the wafer from the cassette, inspect, and then back out into a cassette when it's finished. So it's a fully automated system. It, it's not just an inspection solution. Right, yeah. right, excellent, okay. Well, you're always pushing the boundaries, Sean, that's for sure. Hi, Trevor, we uh, certainly do, yeah. 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 Anyway, great to see you, and... Uh, yeah. yeah, and thanks, thanks for giving us a, a run-through today. Yeah, you're welcome, Trevor, thanks. Thank you. Electronics are part of our world, expanding by application to open up new opportunities for automotive, healthcare, and many other industries. But today's manufacturing techniques are not sustainable. They are energy-hungry and inefficient expensive and have limited flexibility. The world is asking us to do better. Introducing PulseForge tools, a new approach to thermal processes like soldering and curing. Design with more flexibility, manufacture with fewer process steps, reduce energy use and decarbonize the supply chain. Expand your creativity to new levels. Designers are asking for more. 
They need to reduce form factors, reduce weight to work on wearables and stretchables, opening new market opportunities for consumers across the world, asking us to do better. If you think sustainability and freedom of design are not possible in electronics manufacturing, think again. Think PulseForge. In an EMS world full of supply chain challenges, pandemics, and shifting deadlines, Global SMT TV works around the clock to keep you up to date with the latest process technologies, standards, and breaking industry news to keep you at the top of your game. Global SMT TV, bringing you one step closer to your goals.